Hi, I'm Dr. Evan Matthews. I'm here at Montclair State University in the Exercise Science Lab to show you how to do urine electrolyte analysis using the Medica Easy Light Electrolyte Analyzer. So the process of turning on the electrolyte analyzer and getting it calibrated and getting it, uh, the quality controls done and all ready to go is the same as what it was for doing blood electrolytes. So if you haven't gone and watched that video on how to do blood electrolytes, uh, please pause this video for now and go watch that video on uh, doing the blood and then come back to this video. All right, so once the machine is ready to go and you've already done the quality control testing, um, you can then mix up your diluted urine sample. All right, so you need 900 microliters of the urine dilutant from Medica and 100 microliters of urine. All right, so you're going to take your precision pipettes, get the, the tips put onto those, and then you're going to suck up the appropriate amount of each of these uh, liquids, so again the urine dilutant and the urine um, into the pipettes and then put them into the same sample container together. All right, so once they're in the sample container together, you're going to close it and then give it a few inversions to make sure it's well mixed. All right, so this process is very, very important that you're um, extremely careful because even a single drop of dilutants or a single drop of urine more or less than what you're trying to get into that sample cup is going to throw off your values by quite a bit. So you're probably going to want to mix up a few of these sample cups and test all of them in order to get a nice average uh, for the urine electrolytes. All right, so once you're ready to go, you have your urine sample mixed up and the uh, machine is on and quality control tested, you're then going to be able to run the sample. So get your chem wipe ready so you can have some sort of soft tissue to clean the probe as soon as you take the sample out. Um, and then it's the screen on the machine is going to say analyze blood. So you're not analyzing blood right now, so you're going to hit no. You're going to keep hitting no until you see the screen that says uh, next menu. And then you're going to hit yes. And most likely the first thing that pops up is going to ask you if you want to run urine. You're going to hit yes. If it's not the first thing, just hit no until you see um, something about running a urine sample. All right, so it's going to eject the electrode from the machine and it's going to ask you if the um, sample is a 1 of 10 urine sample, which is exactly what we made. So it's 9 parts urine dilutant, 1 part urine, so it's 1 of 10. Then you're going to put the electrode into the sample, so put it all the way to the bottom of the sample cup, and you're going to hit the yes button. It's going to ask if it's in the sample, you're going to hit yes again, and then it's going to start to suck up that urine. You're going to actually see the volume of the urine uh, going down as it's sucking up. All right, eventually it's going to make a beeping sound telling you to take the sample away and then it's going to ask you to wipe down the electrode. All right, so you have to work quickly at this point. So what I do is I take the Kim wipe and I just put it at the base of the electrode right before it goes into the machine and just put a little bit of pressure with my fingers just enough to make sure that the Kim wipe is in direct contact with the electrode and no more than that. All right, so you don't want to really hold it just barely put any pressure on it, just again enough to make sure there's direct contact. The machine's going to pull that electrode up, and it's going to pull it through your fingers, which is going to cause it to essentially clean itself as it uh, retracts back into the machine. All right, so at that point, the machine will then do the analysis for you. It takes about a minute to do this, and eventually it's going to spit out some numbers on the screen, as well as print out some numbers on the receipt tape on the top of the, of the machine. All right, so once that's done, you have one sample, uh, one value for this sample. Again, I recommend doing at least a few different values for each sample to make sure you're getting a nice average of what ex exactly that is, because there's gonna be some variability. In this machine, it occasionally spits out some erroneous values. So make sure you're doing um, duplicate or triplicate values for every sample you run. So once you've ran all your samples, just like when you do uh, blood electrolytes, you wanna make sure that you run a daily cleaning solution through the machine. All right, so go ahead and do that, and that's gonna put it directly into the standby mode, allowing the machine then to sit quietly waiting for the next time it's used. All right, so also make sure that you clean off all the surfaces you touched, including the machine and the countertop. So urine electrolytes is a really good measurement to do um, if you uh, care about sort of sodium intake or chloride or potassium intake. It's also a nice measurement to uh, use uh, in conjunction to something like specific gravity that's going to tell you how well hydrated the person is based on the density of the solution. All right, so you can see here um, I ran three different urine samples, one that was very hydrated and two that were on the dehydrated side of things uh, based on specific gravity. Um, and the urine electrolytes were much higher in the dehydrated individuals than the hydrated individual. All right, so again, super useful um, uh, measurement to do. 
I uh, hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please put those in the comment section below, uh, and I'll try my best to answer those. Otherwise, please come back and watch another video. Thanks.